and welcome back to the NASCAR Thunder 2002 Let's Play. We arrived in Fontana, California at the Napa Auto Parts 500 at the California Speedway for race 11 of the NASCAR Thunder 2002 Let's Play series for the PS1. For last race, Rusty Wallace finally got by Dale Earnhardt Jr. and scoring the win at Cocoa Beach in a dominating fashion performance. Will he go back to back? Or will Dale Jr., Kevin Harvick, Tony Stewart, Dale Jarrett, and Jeff Gordon go for another victory of the Let's Play season? Or will others become new Let's Play winners? Let's go racing in California, presented by EA Sports. Thanks for joining us in beautiful Southern California for the Napa 500. Now let's take a look at the starting lineup. The number 88 car, Dale Jarrett. It's the Napa Auto Parts 500, not the Napa 500. But anyways, here's the starting lineup. On the pole is Dale Jarrett. He's got to be the favorite to get his second win of the season in his number 88 UPS Ford. The number one car, Steve Park. Oh, the one of Steve Park in his third straight Let's Play race. He competed at Talladega and last race at Cocoa Beach. He starts second in his number one Pennzoil Chevrolet for Dale Earnhardt Incorporated. The number 20 car, Tony Stewart. Tony Stewart, the number two point man in the number 20 Home Depot car. He starts in the number three spot. Followed by Sterling Marlins Dodge, number 40. And the Pontiac, number 10 of Johnny Benson in fifth place. Sixth on back is the 99 of Jeff Burton. Another pair of 40s in seventh, and that's the 28 of Ricky Rudd. Followed by Matt Kenza's Ford in eighth place in the number 17 car. Bill Elliott's Dodge starts in ninth place. He had a great run last race at Cocoa Beach. Richard Petty will compete in this race in the number 43 STP Dodge. He starts in the number 10 spot today. The number two car, Rusty Wallace. There's last race winner Rusty Wallace in the number two car looking to go back to back, but he's going to have to do it from the 11th starting spot today. The number 25 car, Jerry Nadeau. Jerry Nadeau will be the third and final non-competitive guy to compete in this race. He starts 12th in his number 25 UAW Delphi Chevrolet for Hendrick Motorsports. The number six car, then there's Mark Martin's Ford and Bobby Labonte's Pontiac in 14. 15th on back is a pair of winners. The number 29 car. All except for the 17th place starter. But the 15th place starter is the Texas winner, Kevin Harvick, in the number 29 GM Goodwin Service Plus Chevrolet. Trying to go for his second win of the season. The same for the guy behind him, and that's the 24 of Jeff Gordon in the number 24 DuPont Chevrolet. The 22 of Warburton and his Caterpillar Dodge is still desperate for his second win of this, or excuse me, his first win of the season, but he's got a lot of ground to make up. Ball starting in 17th position, but he better be careful with the guy behind him because this guy, Dale Earnhardt Jr., is still the point leader over Tony Stewart. Trying to go for another victory after he fell short last race at Cocoa Beach to Rusty Wallace. Time to go racing in Fontana, California for the Napa Auto Parts 500. The green flag is out, and we're racing at California Speedway. In a turn one, they come. Oh, a little bit of a bump between the 22 and the 24, and there's a wreck. Bobby Bonnie of the wall, Ward Burton, Jeff Gordon. But they keep back going. It's still early in the race. They'll catch right back up. Dale Earnhardt Jr. continues to march to the front. Oh, we got a major wreck up ahead. Couple guys in the wall. I think that's Dale Jr. in the 88, but look out. Dale Jr. loses it, but saves it. Oh, but gets into Bill Elliott, who smashes up into Matt Kenseth. Kenseth in the wall. Now he's steadily losing positions. Dale Earnhardt Jr. continues to march his way to the front. In a turn one, they come. Dale Earnhardt Jr. started way deep in 18. He's worked his way up to fifth place. He's trying to go after Sterling Marlins number 40, Tony Stewart's number 20, Steve Park's number one, and Ricky Rudd's number 28 car. Or I think that's Dale Jarrett's number 88 car. Yeah, I'm sorry, that was not Dale Jarrett that wrecked in that last one. That was the 28 of Ricky Rudd. Ricky Rudd crashed right there. So Dale Jarrett led the first two laps of the event and picks up an additional five bonus points. 
That got me confused because I did see a Ford out there and I thought that was Dale Jarrett up there, but it turns out it was his teammate, the 28 of Ricky Rudd, that crashed on lap number one. Coming into turn number three. So Dale and Argier retakes the lead away. Dale Jarrett is second. Steve Park is third. Only 10 laps of racing left to go in California. Look at Tony Stewart coming into the mix. He's looking pretty strong in his Pontiac. Dale Jarrett trying to go for another win. Dale and our junior looking for another win. Steve Park looking for an upset victory for his first win of the season. The first non-competitive guy to get a win. Or will Tony Stewart back that up with his second win of the season? His first since winning the Carolina Dodge Dealers 400 at Darlington. Whoa, look out, the eight's loose. That's going to give Dale Jarrett an opportunity to catch right back up. Now it's become the Dale and Dale show once again at California Speedway. Dale Jarrett is coming. He's hungry in his Ford. Dale Energier holds the lead. He is hungry for a win in his Chevrolet. But look out, here comes Jarrett to the inside. Side by side for the lead. Dale Jarrett takes it coming off of turn number four. Oh, Dale Jr. bumps Dale Jarrett. Dale Jarrett will lead that lap. Eight laps to go, but watch out. Here comes Tony Stewart's number 20. That Home Depot Pontiac, that orange car. He's looking for another win. And Dale Jarrett takes the lead, going to get in turn number one. But for how long? But Dale Jarrett continues to bump him. And there's another bump. Side by side, door slamming racing action here in Fontana, California. It's the 8 and the 88, the 20, the top three cars, and then the one of Steve Park in fourth place. Steve Park looking for some exciting action. He wants to be a part of that. This is going to get exciting. Oh, look out. Dale Jr. loose. Here comes Dale Jarrett back to the inside. He wants the lead. He's got the position. He's back up front. Seven laps to go in Fontana. How about that? Dale Jarrett looking pretty strong. Dale Jr. looking pretty strong. Tony Stewart looking pretty strong. But look out. Oh, that could have been trouble right there if the two got together and crashed hard into the outside wall. Oh, Dale Jr. gets bumped. Gets shuffled out. Three wide off turn two, and here comes Steve Park for the lead. Steve Park looking for five more bonus points for leading a lap. Oh, a little bit of a bump between the eight and the 20. That'll shoot Tony Stewart up the track, get Tony loose. Dale Jarrett goes by for the number three spot. Oh, Dale Jarrett bumps Dale Jarrett up into Steve Park. Oh, that's gonna cause Steve Park to lose a position. We are halfway done in the race. Six laps to go in Fontana. It's Dale and our junior. Dale Jarrett, Steve Park, Tony Stewart. And look at the others coming into the mix there. Oh, look out. Whoa, now side by side going into turn number one. And now Tony Stewart has the lead once again. Look at Rusty Wallace coming into the mix. He's looking pretty strong here. Oh, look out. Oh, what a save by Rusty Wallace. Nearly loses it on the backstretch, keeps it together, and keeps back going. And that'll cause Dale Jr. to bump Tony Stewart up the track, goes for the lead. Here comes Dale Jr. for second place. This is great racing at its finest. Five laps to go. Oh, Dale Jr. bumping Dale Earnhardt Jr. Giving everything he's got. He's desperate for his second win of the season. Oh, here he comes to the inside. Now Tony Stewart under the shotgun of Steve Park's number one for the number three spot. Now Dale Jarrett and Dale and our junior are side by side. These fans love to see the Dale and Dale show once again. This is great racing in Fontana, but I do miss it. NASCAR racing at the California Speedway, now the Auto Club Speedway. It was the best racing, in my opinion. Now Dale Jarrett and Dale Earnhardt Jr. side by side for racing. These fans love to see this racing action. Four laps to go. Steve Park's coming in there. He's hungry for some action. The same with Tony Stewart running in fourth as the leaders going to turn number one once again. Oh, Jarrett looking for the lead. Dale Earnhardt Jr. has it. Stewart riding the shot, riding shotgun on the outside line, looking for some momentum. The eight, the 88, the one. These guys 
continue to race like it's the last lap. Boo, Dale Jarrett on the outside line. We don't know if it's gonna work. And now Dale Jarrett trying to retake the lead back. He does, coming off of turn number four. Here comes Steve Park for second. He'll take it. Dale Jarrett has the lead once again. Three more times around at California. A little bit of a bump between the eight and the one. Dale Leonard Jr. goes by for second. Steve Park drops back in third. Oh, here comes Dale Jr. back to the outside line to go for the lead on Dale Jarrett. Trying to take it off a of two. He does. He clears for the lead. But watch out. Dale Jarrett knows there's only three more laps to go to go for the victory. These fans love to see a great race today. This track's got the best food. Oh, look out, Dale Jarrett gets tight. Bounces off the wall just a little bit. Here comes Dale Jarrett back for the lead. He takes it back. Two laps to go at Fontana. Oh, there's the bump between Dale and R. Jr. and Dale Jarrett. Dale Jr. retakes the lead back and the crowd is on their feet. Man, that car is flying for him today. The same with Dale Jarrett as is Steve Park and Tony Stewart. Holding on to third and fourth place. Well, fifth place on back are enjoying a great show. Oh, these fans are jumping out of their seats, jumping up and down, screaming. These fans are not sitting down because they want to see a great race, a great finish. As we come to the white flag, Dale Jarrett leads off a of turn four. Oh, but there's the bump. Dale Jarrett and Dale Earnhardt Jr. battle. Dale Jarrett has the top spot. Dale Jarrett trying to go for it. White flag. One more time around for Dale Earnhardt Jr. over Dale Jarrett. Oh, Dale Jarrett knows there's only four more turns to go. Oh, Jared knows. There's two more times around. Jared looking for some momentum. Trying to get around. Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s number eight car. Let's see if Dale Jarrett can try to hang on. Running that outside line. Or will Dale Jarrett shoot by him on the inside? Here he comes. And here comes Dale Jarrett. Look out. Jarrett. Earnhardt Jr. switches lanes. Earnhardt Jr. can't get there. Dale Jarrett wins it. So Dale Jarrett wins the Napa Auto Parts 500 at the California Speedway. What a race. That was a fantastic race. Only six lead changes, but just two different leaders. And that's Dale Jarrett, the race winner, and the runner-up, Dale Earnhardt Jr. Steve Park will get third with taking over 100, 165 points. Tony Stewart finished fourth, then Mark Martin. Matt Kenseth, Jeff Bird, the three Roush cars, fifth through seventh. Richard Petty, a great run, taking 100, 142 points with them. Then the Hendrick boys of Jeff Gordon and Jerry Nadeau, finishing ninth and tenth. Nadeau takes 134 points, followed by Bob Labonte, Sterling Marlin, Ward Burden, Ricky Rudd, Kevin Harvick, Bill Elliott, Johnny Benson, and last place runner-up. The last place finisher is last race winner, Rusty Wallace. Ouch. But no worries. There's always next race at Richmond. So now Kevin Harvick finds himself on the bubble of the top 10 of points. Just one point over Jeff Burton. Steve Park now adds up to 599. Richard Petty to 393. Jerry Nader to 280. We'll see you next time at Richmond.